Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to the Law of Attraction Radio Network. And of course, I am Constance Arnold, host of the Think, Believe, and Manifest Talk Show. And today, I am broadcasting from uh, Feels Like Fall, (laughs) y'all, Atlanta, Georgia. So grateful uh, that you made a decision to join me from all over the world. I do not take that for granted, and I am so grateful uh, to God that you are tuning in. And I believe that you have been attracted to this show. Maybe you've been a listener for years, but today you're going to hear exactly what you need. Have you ever been in a place and and you just like God? I just I just need to hear one word, motive, one word of motivation or inspiration. And, and you may watch somebody on YouTube or listen to me, and you get that nugget, that little push that you need that's what you're going to get today so uh, open up and get ready to receive well it's a beautiful day here in the atl as i said it is beginning to feel like fall one of my favorite times of the year all year is my favorite time you know i was in a store this morning and the lady said oh it's beautiful outside i said yeah she said, it feels like fall. And she said, I just, I'm so glad because I just hate summer. And I didn't say anything, but y'all know I wanted to. The power of your word. I just hate summer. And she said, if there was a word uh, uh, beyond hate, I would use that. And I was thinking to myself, man, I'm grateful for my life, summer, winter, spring, or fall. But that's just my little intake. Well, uh, today I'm going to be teaching part two of seven habits to create and manifest anything. And if you haven't listened to part one, you've got to listen to it and bring it together. I'm going to be sharing three of the last habits, uh, uh, and but you need to go back and listen to it. Let's see, what do I want to say? Uh, follow me on social media. Instagram and TikTok, Law of Attraction, Constance, Facebook, Coach with Constance, Twitter, LOA Constance, my YouTube channel, Constance Arnold. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're following me and you guys know I share content every week, uh, I usually share two to three different three minute videos. Please share them on your timeline. Uh, so that it can help others. You know, I would be remiss not to give a shout out to all of my listeners in the UK, uh, London, you know, all of that area with Queen Elizabeth, who was a remarkable woman. And, you know, what struck me was her dedication to service. I mean, she put that above everything she called it her duty so i know all of my listeners in london and the uk uh uh are feeling some kind of way we all are feeling just some kind of way because it just shows us what a great example she was but i just wanted to acknowledge um her majesty And what else do I want to say before I get started? You guys should see my table. I have about 10 pieces of paper here (laughs) that that I'm getting ready to share with you. Uh, If you're interested in coaching, uh, I'm dealing with a lot of people now who, after the pandemic, realize, I don't want to do this job anymore, Constance. I want more than this. I want to be free. I've heard of someone who said, I want to live on a beach. I want to, to be free. I want to make X number of dollars and be able to travel. Long story short, she began to imagine that in her mind. I'm going to be talking about that as the, as the fifth habit. She just began to imagine it in her mind. I don't even think that was her feel. Somebody hired her as a nanny. I think she was a previous teacher. She wanted out of the classroom. Somebody hired her as a nanny. They were very rich. 
uh, they said, okay, we just want you to tutor our children and we travel from place to place. However, your home that we're, you, we're going to rent to you or give to you is on the beach. So she ended up making more money than ever and, you know, and just on her own terms. Why? Because she imagined that even though that uh, was not, even though that uh, was not what she had been doing previously. So I want y'all to get out of the box. God got so much more for you. So uh, if you are someone who is ready to change careers, man, can I relate to you? I went from cor corporate America to the school system to my own business. And so some people are calling it the great resignation. I call it the great reflection because you reflected on who you are and what you really want during the pandemic. I would like to help you to make that transition. I didn't make that transition easily or quickly, but when I did make it, I started with six figures. Uh, thank God for my mentor, Pastor James Powers. He was like, nope, it is not time. So a lot of people say, it's just a blind leap of faith. I think you can move in faith strategically. So if you're ready for change in the area of your career, email me, Constance, at fulfillingyourpurpose.com, and let's do a discovery uh, call. And secondly, uh, in your position on your, on your job or in your organization, I would love uh, to come either virtually or in person. I just got through change, uh, training passes in Africa. It was so good, y'all. I I cried at the end. Uh, we our last session was a uh, interactive session where they asked me questions from my four mastermind classes, and, and, and so I would love to come to you virtually or in person and help your employer and help your employees and or your staff really begin to motivate and to uh, shift and change people after post pandemic because people are different. I, I know for a fact that uh, a lot of people like working remotely, but it's isolating, it's depression, it, it can be. Uh, you feel isolated. Uh, a lot of people feel depressed because the office um, coming together, the office staff was for many people their only family and their way of connection. You don't feel connected. So remote working, I applaud it, but I'm just telling you what I know. I would love to come in your organization and help you to create something aligned with your mission in order to help people to adjust, to, to change, because it is an employee's market uh, to help those who are working remotely feel connected, uh, help the, the VPs and the supervisors learn how to connect more uh, while people are working virtually. So you guys know my clientele is extensive. Uh, so let's do a let's do a chat, a discovery call about me coming to your organization, Constance, at fulfillingyourpurpose.com. Okay, y'all, here we go. Let me take a sip of coffee. And I'm talking to you about seven habits. And I think last week I said something really profound and I said if you would do these seven habits I'm looking for my piece of paper if you hear something rattling if you would do these seven habits that you won't recognize your life it's almost a guarantee because you can tell where your life is going by your daily habits I can look at your daily habits. I'm still looking for my piece of paper. I can look at your daily habits and determine, you know, where your life is going. And so I'm not going to go over it, but the first habits were, you know, you know, get clear about what you want. And uh, then I gave you the habits of 
of y'all tell me what they are getting clear about what you want uh, the uh, framing your goals or your life with your words uh, your um your associations uh your thinking and, and gratitude okay so habit number five habit number five i found my paper y'all Habit number five is, before I do that, everything is inside out. If you want to change your life, you got to change what you do, what you feel, who you are on a daily basis. Wishing and hoping doesn't make that happen. Listening to me is great and awesome, but you have to own it. You have to become one with it and walk it out. Somebody said, I've been listening to you for 10 years and things haven't changed in my life. You're really good and really motivational. Well, honey, I want to be more than motivational. I want you to take that, the knowledge that I share and eat it, absorb it, and become it to walk it out. And, and so it's inside out. God is not holding anything back from you. God has already given you all things. As I said, you are deciding what you want every single day by these seven habits. And really, these habits really create your I amness. And your I amness just simply means I am that. I have that. This is who I am. Uh, this is what I have. And this is what I'm being, if you get me. Because the big lie is that you're separate from God. Nope. You're one with spirit, one with God. So if you're one with spirit and one with God, does that mean that you're one with abundance? Does that mean that you're one with, 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 with uh, prosperity? You know, and I tell people, whatever your I am, this is, is what you're going to manifest. So your I am, this is what you think, feel, believe, say, and imagine all day long. So the spirit is working through your I amness. You're not praying to an outside God. You are behaving like God, knowing that when you put your focus on something, that it becomes real in your life. And all of the habits that I'm giving you, all it takes is just five minutes a day for each one. What you doing that you're so busy that you can't devote five minutes a day? All right. Because we know the minute that you begin to see it on the inside at that very moment, everything begins to move, uh, shake, shape, and bend. So you got to begin to trust what's going on on the inside rather than the outside. So let me talk about your imagination. Y'all, this is so big. This is so powerful. And I guess my question to you is, what? It, where are you thinking and imagining most of the day? If you are worrying, that's a form of meditation. Hmm. And so we know the law of attraction says, like attracts like, wherever you put your dominant attention, feeling, and emotions, and images is what is going to come back to you. And so today, uh, if you are talking about the past, well, you know, uh, you know, my ex, he did this and I just don't trust men anymore or trust women anymore. Or, you know, I'm just not going to give my all to that job because when I was working at ABC company. So when you are talking about the past, uh, imaging the past, feeling the past, I'm not going to let anybody get close to me again. When you do that. You're really creating the same thing. Remember, you are always creating moment by moment. So let me just talk to you a little bit about your imagination. Your imagination is God. Whatever you think, we know we think in pictures. 
your subconscious is most impacted by what? By what you uh, see and imagine backed up with emotions. We've heard Neville Goddard said that your imagination is God. I just want you to feel that. So really your imagination is a divine work of God on the inside of you. So I say you face to face with God in your imagination, but I ain't, I, I, I'm not going to go that deep. So get clear about what you want. Let me break it all the way down. So we know that your thoughts will eventually, if you think, oh, I'm scared. I'm scared to go. I'm scared to fly, Constance. I'm scared to go on the cruise. You could, in your mind, you start seeing yourself, uh, you know, getting sick on the cruise because whatever you dominantly think turns into your imagination. Your thoughts influence your manifestation. A and so whatever you dominantly think, feel, and believe, you, you heard me talk about the last time that that we, we have just 99.999% pure energy. We are shifting and rearranging atoms. And so wherever you place your imagination, what we're doing is we are rearranging atoms, light, and pure energy quantum physics so there's infinite potential out there every day you can choose i'm gonna be happy i'm gonna be i'm gonna be excited i'm gonna be poor i'm gonna be rich so there's infinite potential y'all this is how powerful you are all you need to do is choose what you want in your life today or over the next six months I want to release 20 pounds. So you need to start visualizing that and seeing that, seeing yourself walking, seeing yourself in the kitchen, cutting up healthy food. We're talking about your imagination as habit number five. When you begin to lay hold of that is what the Bible says. Neville Goddard says, when you begin to live in the end, uh, the Bible always says, when you play, pray, believe you receive. When you believe you receive something, you are moving that energy. That energy to me uh, is a, a rhythm of faith or when you believe you receive, it is mine now. In your imagination, you see it. You're not waiting for it. You're not hoping for it. What it does is it collapses down into the physical plane of your life. Wow. So really, creation is already finished, y'all. We're just choosing what we want. And we can learn how to create from the inside out, from the feel, from pure energy or create from our faith by simply thinking and getting a picture of what you want. Okay, I, I'm going to stop right there. Thinking, what do you want? You want a new car? You want a new house? You want love? Simply begin habit number five, consistently thinking and getting a picture of what you want in your mind. You're going to hold it with emotion. You're going to sort of get lost in it. This is mine now. If you want to go to the, to the beach, I'm going to the ocean somewhere over the next three weeks. I already see myself feeling the breeze on my face, letting my hair blow in the wind. I don't know if it's going to be long or short that day. <laughs> my sisters know where I'm coming from. I, I hear the seagulls. 
I, I hear the sand. I feel the sand going between my toes. I see me going to the airport, the busiest airport in the world, and my and my flight is on time. It's not canceled. I get one of the greatest seats in first class. The flight is so easy, not a lot of turbulence. I see myself going to back baggage claim. Y'all got the picture. I see myself checking in the hotel and them saying, Miss Arnold, we have the best room for you. So what are you doing? You're getting lost in your dream. You're living in the end. You're envisioning life how it could be. Uh, you're taking your senses off of the problem. Oh, my God, Atlanta is the busiest airport in the world. What if? Oh, no, 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 no. You're taking your physical senses off of the problem. And you're going inside. I call it the holy of holies. You're going inside and you. I'm sowing that seed with my thinking and with my imagination living in the end. I'm collapsing time and space. And then everything outside responds to me. The plane being on time, Uber picking me up on time. My pet sitter coming to my house with Angel. You, you see, my bags are ready. So whatever you want, that is the process that you need to do. But you're doing it in the alpha or the theta state because when you do it, when you imagine consciously, remember your conscious is only 5%. So the question is, can you create by thought and imagination alone? Well, yes, you can because imagination is God. So literally you're thinking it and then you're casting that thought or that or that feeling down on the inside of you. You know, I, I love the, what Dr. Joe Dispenza said when he said, bring a picture of your future into the nowness of your life today with elevated emotion, living in the end, and in joy and gratitude and expectancy you're grateful for. And just by doing that, let's just say twice a day in the alpha or the theta state, which we know is just that relaxed state. You can go on YouTube and find all kind of stuff, breathing stuff to get you more relaxed. When you hold that picture, your subconscious says, Wait a minute, and you're joyful and grateful for it. Thank you for love. Thank you for abundance. You know, uh, a Bishop Victor, which is my mentor in Africa, he told me, he said, you know, after you did the the, the pastors, because there's women in ministry, after you did the retreat, which I didn't know this, he said, we prayed that more millions would come into your hands. So when he told me that, I start seeing that, <laughs> seeing what I'm going to do. Because when you when you are in your imagination, it's spiritual intimacy. And, and in Hebrew, the word imagination means potter. What does a potter do? A potter forms shapes. You've seen them on TV and, and maybe and the potter is on a wheel. And maybe it's looking kind of crooked and he'll just move it over to the left to shape it. Because remember, you are this powerful, ladies and gentlemen, whatever you hold to be true in your mind, the entire universe bends, shapes, molds, and will eventually bring it to you. So, so you can't do this haphazardly. One thing about Queen Elizabeth, they said that she put duty above her own life. Are you putting your life and what you want above TV, above Netflix, and, 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 and above, above everything else? Because wherever you spend your time, 
Come on, everybody. Wherever you spend your time is what's going to show up in your life. So you're laying hold of any desire that you want. You might be saying, Constance, any desire? Well, in the quantum world, all possibilities exist. So uh, Dr. Greg Braden has a great example of a woman. They call it the 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 the, med the medicine less hospital. I think that's how you say it. And you could go on YouTube and watch it. Three men are praying over this woman, and she has this big tumor, and you could see it in real time that tumor going down. And so afterwards. Dr. Braden asked them, were you praying, oh, God, heal the uh, tumor? And they said, no, because any de desire exists. Y'all watch this. All probabilities exist. We just chose another probability. Oh, my goodness. If I wasn't teaching, I would get up and run around this house. Guys. You got to choose another poss a probability, possibility. They were not saying, you know, God healed this tumor. God healed this tumor. They chose another possibility, probability, which is she is healed. She is healed or, or whatever they were saying. Uh, tumor gone. So could you choose another probability today? Everything exists. Could you choose to be happy? Could you choose to be in faith? Could you choose to be healed? Could you choose to be vibrant? You choose. And I guarantee you, I'm getting ready to go to commercial break. I guarantee you that if you would do, this is habit number five, every single day consistently, you won't recognize your life. I mean, you bad to the bone. You, you, you know, you're not a victim. You, you're not just wishing and hoping. You're a God, whatever you choose. So I want you to decide what you want. And then every day for five minutes, get in that alpha theta state. I did it this morning. It feels so good and juicy. And like Dr. Uh, Joe Dispenza, bring that future into the now, living in the end. Don't have to know how. Grateful and joyful. What would bring you joy? And uh, watch it download. Watch it manifest. Watch your prayers be answered. Ooh, I don't know what to say behind that. Oh, I do want to say this. We need to congratulate my dear friend. You guys know I'm collaborating with him, Jaden Sterling. He won the SAAS or the Software as a Service Global Award in Financial Services. So that means in the U.S., it might be globally. I got to ask him. He He won the Emmy. He won the Grammy. He won the Tony. So that means that Sterling Stock Picker is number one in the area of finances. And, you know, I'm so grateful to be uh, partnering with him. You know, he has really designed this stock software that you guys can go online, sterlingstockpicker.com, absolutely free and take a look at it. Don't you want to be with the best? And so you can really browse. You don't have to use your credit card. Uh, or you can subscribe initially free and then decide uh, if you want to join. And it is so reasonable. Uh, Jaden has been in the stock market for 30 years. He is a master. He has helped make so many people rich. Why not you? But baby, you got to make a move. I tell people, get up off of your knees and get out of your comfort zone. And, you know, I love it because they have a community. Uh, Jaden comes on once a week and, and does a live with you. They they email you the best stocks, you know, and how everything is going. And it's kind of like if, if, if you had a singer, Beyonce, 
and you were trying to get your career started and Beyonce said, I'm going to tell you everything you need to do in business in order to be successful. That's what Jane Sterling is saying. I'm going to tell you everything in the stock market, no matter what it looks like from the outside, to really create a wonderful financial future. Wow. Absolutely free. You can go and scroll and look. And for them to get this award is just amazing. I saw his uh, video on, on uh, Facebook, and when he opened the email, Jaden was stunned. And you know what I said to him? I replied back, I'm not surprised at all. Everything you've done has been in the spirit of excellence, and you're all about serving people. And so congratulations. And then I said, you're a bad man exclamation point. So go to sterlingstoppickers.com and uh, I'm going to be right back with habits number six and seven. I'm excited, y'all. Can you tell? <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> 